Hello everyone, I'm Xanto and welcome back from our No Man's Sky. Last time we explored this weird planet with the condensium and stuff on it. And this time, we're going to be going to the biggest planet that I think I've ever seen. Um, it's going to be a fun one, this. It's going to be fun to see what's actually on this planet. Um, so let's head up into the very pixelated sky and see what we can do today. Um, I'm very surprised that there hasn't been an update um, in this game. Because there needs to be. It's been such a long time since we've had a game update. It's been like almost four months now and we haven't had an update. So come on, Sean Murray and the gang. Please, get on to it. Give us an update, please. Please. So it looks like this planet right here is a water planet with loads of green bits around. Which I kind of like. I like these planets. I like them. Uh, ooh. Damn, this looks nice. This looks really nice. Okay, that's still what we've got here. I really hope this is a planet we can explore. I really hope this is. Abundant. Intermittent. So, that, does that mean that there are animals? Only they're, like, kind of uncommon? I'm assuming that means that is the case. Yes. Look at that. We've got flying eels. We've got some Geknip right there. This is a good planet. I like this planet very much at the moment. Almost to the point where I think it's it's almost base worthy. It's almost base worthy. The only problem is with this planet like being base worthy is the water. Yeah, um, water usually causes problems um, with bases. But let's be fair. Like, I I don't really like need to do many more quests apart from you know maybe when we have a new update or something. Um, and for the most part, you know, it was okay. Like, the, the, the quest thing was okay. So, I guess we might create a base here today. We might do. Um, it just depends. So, how many animals have we got on this planet? We've got a few. Um, one being a water, one being a flying. Uh, let's see. So, we should have two flying, a good few water animals, and then the rest will be... Land animals, which is sort of to be expected, you know, that's sort of the the regular case with these planets here. God, I've, I've waited a long time to explore a planet like this, you know. I, I can't believe I finally found a planet with, like, actual trees and stuff, rather than just being condensium planets, like, over and over and over again. Oh, a new guy over there. I think it's just about to become daytime as well, which would be kind of cool. Oh my goodness, this sunrise. Look at this. We have got golden plains. This is amazing. This is really nice. Golden plains with sky eels. This is like my dream planet. I think I have to, you know. I think I've got to have this as my home base. This whole planet. Yep, I think this has got to be it. Got to be. Just look at this place. This is so cool. Such a beautiful planet. Like, look at this. This is a screenshot moment right here. Let's sort of hide the menu, get a screenshot. I think it's really good because we've got that ship in there as well. So it's just like even more atmospheric than it already would be. That is beautiful. That is so beautiful. So because of that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to place down a signal booster right here. And we are going to search for a habitable base nearby. So all this does is it'll tell you where the nearest home base is on the planet. Which is going to be over that way in 55 minutes. Oh great, we've got to travel an hour away from this location. That's, that's just excellent. But I really ho like, hope it's a nice location. Otherwise I'll literally scour the planet to try and find another base. Like uh, another place for a base to go. But you know, this has got everything I need. It's got like loads of like iron and stuff. It's got everything I need. Talking about iron, it might be best to actually start building a lot of, uh, or gathering a lot of iron before we start making a base. Because we'll run out very quickly. Let's look at this Gek plaque. There we go, my knowledge of the Gek increases, very nice. And we've learnt the mining word for Gek. Um, and I believe we've got a, uh, a, an achievement or something. Or we've, you know, gone up in their, their rankings and stuff. There you go, Gek rank 30. Wow, this site, look at it, it's so good. <coughs> like, I don't even care that we can't even find, like, 
uh, like any animals. I just want to make a nice base here because this is so beautiful. Aha, a new animal. Got this guy. He looks interesting. Looks like a devil dog. This can be my pet. He can be my pet. He can be called Dave and he will be my pet. And I'll probably, I don't know, like leave him on this planet um, to, to go and explore the rest of the expanse of the galaxy. But that's fine. That's fine. I feel this is a perfect planet to have a base on. Got the Gek word for future Gek. Okay, that's, that's weird. I didn't know that future Gek was a word, but you know, whatever. A new animal right here. Does that guy want to, you know, be discovered? No? Yeah? Yeah? There you go. We discovered him. 5 out of 11 species discovered. I don't even care, really, about the species in this episode now. I just want to get my base up and running. So let's go all the way to the base location. And uh, and let's see what we got. Let's, let's head over there. And grab ourselves a nice base. Now I know what you're thinking. This sort of means that... We are going to be losing a lot of our Geknip, Geknip supplies from our original base. Um, true, but I mean, I'm pretty sure you get some of it back. I'm not too sure how that works. I'm not too sure how it works. But I will say this now, we don't necessarily need like a lot of stuff in our base. So I've never really said, oh, I need to go back to my base to grab this, you know? I've never really done that. Okay, this is kind of nice. I like the look of this location. It's got like loads of trees around the area. I'll probably like get rid of some of these trees so we can like, I don't know, overlook the ocean right here. But yeah, I think this will make a very good location for a base. Look, we've got a nice view out the front door. It's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's make our base here. Warning, home planet reassignment required. Okay. Warning, pre-existing base identified. Warning, base procedure limit reached. Claiming this base will delete your previous base. Most of the resources will be made available in the item cache. Let's claim it. Oh boy, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Now, the thing is that this base is, rather than making it so that I actually want it to, you know, do some interesting stuff, I just want to make it look as nice as possible. Um, I want to make it look pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, let's get going. Ooh, cylindrical room frame. I don't think I've seen that before. That's new. We've got a corridor there. We're going to have a corridor there. We're going to have a corridor there. And then I think we're going to have a square room like this. Ooh, that's really nice. I like the square rooms. Got some windows in here as well. Pretty good. Uh, let's see now. So, you see, we're going to go in here. We're gonna like have a left turn, and this is gonna be like our main chilling area. So like, I kind of want there to be like all sorts around here. So I'm thinking like, so that's gonna be a nice little door, so we can get in and out of our base, just like that. It's gonna be like a, a side door, you know. Then I think we're gonna have like a desk here or something, and like maybe a a weapon thing on the wall or something. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But like the thing is. I think, oh, what's this? Messaging module. I've not seen that before. Um, I think what we're going to do with this base, compared to the last base, is have it so this one is sort of more design focused. Um, because the last one was just a bit, I don't know, a bit boring. Um, in the way that it was more only really to get all of our materials and stuff ready. But yeah, I think we're going to make a good start there. Um, so yeah, but anyway, let's keep exploring this planet, um, and I will, of course, eventually um, head to, like, the teleporter and stuff for this um, after a while, and we'll try and get things set up like that. But anyway, let's keep going and exploring, uh, trying to find some more animals on this planet, because we haven't found, like, any at the moment. So, we have some more fish things. Oh, wow, look at that. They're, like, weird moles who are swimming. Swimming moles? We've got... Like, 20-legged octopi. We've got a storm. So, maybe... Oh, we've got some birds up there. Okay. Pretty nice. We're starting to find the animals now. I'm assuming we've got storm animals. Um, you know, animals that only appear in a storm. Um, either way, at least I know what to call this episode now. It's base 3.0. Um, and not as in 3.0. Like, 3.0. Like, if I could type... 
how I would see the the word pointo, um, then yeah, I, I would, but I can't because there's no like means of actually uh, typing in words. Um, let's see. We learned the get word for terror. So yeah, what this means now that we've got a new base on this planet is that our previous base has been deleted. It is gone. Uh, we can never get it back. But I feel this planet has the potential of being my next best planet. This is the, the best one I've found since finding that planet. Um, and I think this one right here, this is a good one. This one right here is a killer planet. Only thing really, I can't really seem to find the animals, but the thing is, because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff at our base in the future, um, it doesn't really matter as much, um, to be fair, because like, we're, we're going to be going back to this planet multiple times in the future to build it up, make it look nice and things like that, so we don't really need, like, uh, a, 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 you know, to, to explore it all now, because we will get it all eventually. Um, yeah, I think this planet looks beautiful, as it is. See, so, yeah, I'm just a bit confused as to, like, where all the animals are on this planet. But, I mean, again, I'm sure we'll find them eventually. Uh, so let's head back to our base and, uh, you know, just work on it a little bit for the rest of this episode. I feel that'd be the best thing to do. Aha, new animal. It's a mini Stegosaurus. Come on, come back here. Mini Stegosaurus. We found 9 out of 11 creatures on this planet. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting a bit closer. That's fine though. Okay then, let's head back inside. And, uh, oh god, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Can we get lights? I'm pretty sure we can get lights. Oh, we can, look at that. Oh, they cost volatic cells. Oh, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Okay then. So, what we want to do is we want to do the following. We want to build, like, a desk here. Like, a gun rack here. I think that'd be great. Um, maybe like this thing here or something, you know, just to add a bit of decoration. Um, I'm gonna have like my bed here in this corner. Yeah, that should be nice. That should be pretty nice. This is gonna be like my room right here. It's gonna be like a really cool room. Now I know it's again, it's very dark. Yes, I know. But we will be fixing this. We'll be fixing it. Um, we are going to make it pretty nice. So right here is the previous item cache base thing. So all of this right here is all of the stuff that it's decided to transfer over from our previous base. Which kind of sucks that, um, you know, we, we've lost all of our Gekknip. Like we had eight Gekknip, I think, over there. Um, but that's fine. Um... Let's just transfer over a load of this stuff quickly. So there we go. We can make some lights. Uh, let's place some... I, I think one should go here. One should go here. So I'll have two by the door. We'll have one light there, I think. One light there. I think that'll do. Jeez, these lights aren't very good. They're not, like, you know, lighting the place up or anything. It's a bit dumb. So that one's lighting the place up more than anything. This this tiny one right here. That's weird. Oh, look at that. We'll have a nice table in the middle of the room. I'll we'll have some, some nice chairs going there as well. Like this for guests. Look at that. Whee! <laughs> we spun the chair around. Yeah, you see, this is going to be like my first room right here. Um, and then we're going to like build out this way, I think. So I, I think it'd be great if we could do that one right there. Um, 30 iron, 10 iridium, and 1 glass. We could have like a, a turning one. And then that turning one could lead into like a room that we're going to put here or something. I don't know. Because I want to put a big room there. There you go. And we're going to have another big room there. So it's going to be the same sort of thing. Um, only slightly different. And then I'm thinking we could have... That go from there into the other room, which goes like right there, um, even though that doesn't really reach. Um, right, okay then. Uh, I think I know how we can make this reach actually. So we need to go out one this way and then out one from the other way as well, because that's what we did with these corridors, you see. 
So now that we've done that, we should be able to do that, and they should reach each other. They do. Perfect. So we need 30 iron, 10 iridium, and 1 glass. How do we make glass again? I think we should be good now. Um, so one thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to end it here for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please... Oh, I've already done that. I will see you all in the next video of No Man's Sky, where we explore another planet in hope to find some Cory Zagan in order to make these weird circular tunnel things, which means we can go, ooh, we and all into the next room and all that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.